uh, the day you gave us, April 9th, 2020. What I want to think about uh, this evening uh, as we come towards the end of this day are our desires, our aspirations, the things that we uh, long for, the things that we pray for, the things that we desire. My concern is so very often that our desires are simply like the world around us. Uh, those are desires for comfort, for health, for wealth, for prosperity, and just uh, generally for happiness. And I think we really miss out on what it really should be like for the Christian, that we should have diff different aspirations and desires fundamentally in our lives. And I want to lay before us two critical ones uh, this evening. The first is the glory of God. John chapter 12, when the Lord Jesus is heading towards the cross and, and anticipating all that that would involve, he, he is wondering what to pray and he says, and he ends up praying, Father, glorify your name. And there comes a great cry from heaven saying, I have glorified it and I will glorify it again. And uh, in John chapter 11, when Lazarus is sick uh, and, and the situation is, is, is laid before the Lord, he says that this, that this sickness um, is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of Man might be glorified. And we should just have this longing for the glory of God. Any situation, anything in, in life that we find should be that there would be glory to our God. So let's think about that first of all. Uh, we just long for God to be honoured. The second thing I want us to be thinking about is spiritual benefit. The benefit that would come to others through the situations that are found in their lives. Uh, Paul, you see, he's aware of some people in Colossae and he's aware of their situation. And when he hears about them, how they become Christians, what does he what does he pray does he pray that they, they, they'd all do quite well financially, uh, have uh, happy home lives, etc., etc.? No, he prays this. He says this, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so as to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy. Just see that catalogue of things. It's fundamentally spiritual progress, knowing God, being fruitful in serving him. If you come to pray for me tonight, might I ask that you would pray that my life would be for the glory of God and that I might be growing in every way to know the Lord. So please, let's be having godly desires, not worldly desires, and let that be reflected in our prayers for one another. The needs of our souls are, pr are primary, and we will then be flowing with our Lord for his glory. Thanks, that was... The day you gave us, April 9th, 2020.